Welcome to the Keen Super 6 Dredge. So we're down here for our last day. We're gonna run the Keen Super 6 Dredge. First time ever, Kathleen is jumping on the nozzle as we speak and working that baby good. Should be some really good gold, awesome clean out. So let's take a look. Look up above, down below. See how bad this bad boy's running. about it is if you get a big rock jammed into the nozzle there's a side flap that I've used three times already <laughs> where you flip it up and lose a suction and then you can pull the rock out without crushing up your hands so I really like that and I like the double handles that the, the hose or the, no <laughs> the nozzle head has it's easier to control when you're dredging um, I'm just long arming today. I may just get a face mask just to see what I'm doing, but the water's pretty clear, so I'm gonna get as much gold as I can. So it's important for the tender to pay attention to the dredge box. The water flow is slowed down so it looks like we have a clog and we'll need to use this big long stick to try to pry out the rocks.
So as you can see, the Keen Super 6 is just a complete monster of a machine compared to the standard Keen 6 inch dredge. I mean, if you're looking to get into small commercial mining, this is an excellent machine, you know, to start off with. Uh, believe it or not, it's just got more power than a standalone 6 inch dredge. You got more capture boxes. You got the longer main sluice box that's critical to capture that micro gold that we see up here in Alaska. It even has at the end of the sluice box that sump, which will show you the clean out. So all that fine material that's making it through, washing through the main sluice back box is dropping down there in that sump and being pushed out into the two side sluice boxes which you can control the flow of the water on those and slow it down to try to trap as much as that micro gold dust as possible. So really awesome ingenuity, awesome machine. And it's actually something that Gold Fever Prospecting that for their commercial operation with the 10 inch, they could retrofitted their 10 inch dredge with the same concept. So you're gonna capture a ton of gold more so than with the short standard six inch dredge. I mean, it's like night and day difference. It's amazing. All right, well, we just shut down the Super 6 and Mwah. I loved it. What a beautiful piece of machinery. <laughs> Actually, it was easier to use than the one we were using a, a couple days ago with the the stiff hose and everything, but this one has the flexible hose and it it's <laughs> the just, flap, the, the flap, flap made life easy. The flap. And then Love the the, the sump. I can't get enough of this um moving you know pulling that fine material and run it through this two side uh, sluices we'll take the camera over there before we clean out but you know it caught gold everywhere so yeah. we're hoping for a really good clean out a lot of gold in the box so we're going to get to that now the fun part the fun part but we did some damage so <laughs> good day of dredge and moved a lot of material washed a lot of rocks So this is the sump where it gets classified down to eighth, eighth inch mesh mostly. Some things get in there, uh, but then it moves that material into both of these side boxes. Both Pretty cool. Piece of little piece of gold. Really teeny tiny pieces. Gold everywhere.
So, Buffaloes, what do you think of the 40 mile? I love it. I like to wander here, that's for sure. Better gold than Ohio? <laughs> oh my. Pull it, pull it. There you go. Look at that, YouTube people. Super six cleanup. Gold. I know. 
snuffer and pan it.